Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave on behalf of ADSR and in this video we're going to have a look at automation in Ableton Live 10. So as you may or may not know, we now have to press the A key to access the automation. So this is now a global automation toggle button and as you can see there, if we press A, then our clips change so we get this automation lane underneath. And then if we change back to A again, then you can see it turns back to a normal clip. And that happens for every single one of our clips. So once we're in automation or A mode, what we can do from here is as usual, you see we have our different automation lanes. And instead of having the arrow drop down, what we now have to do is just right click anywhere in the box here and we can add lane for each automated parameter if we want to. Once again, we can also select the parameters from here. And you'll notice that the fades is no longer here because the fades is now accessible from just within the clips. So we'll close these down and we'll have a look at some breakpoints. So I'll do this for this auto filter frequency because it will be nice and obvious. I'm just going to open this up so you can see. So breakpoints now snap to the grid. So you see as I cycle through here, see how it's jumping from the grid positions. And if I change the grid position, as it gets close, or if I start to go near the grid, it snaps. See how that snap into the grid. We also get automation values now displayed as we hover over the breakpoint, and that is not only for breakpoints, but it's also for sections as well and it's also for entire areas where we might be moving things around. As usual, we can still do normal things such as automation curves using the Alt shortcut. Let's do it on this part here, it'll be a bit more obvious. We can now put breakpoints anywhere we want simply by double clicking anywhere within the automation lane. And you can see as we do this, we're also getting this vertical helper line as well. So it shows us exactly where we are on the timeline and it's also snapping to the grid. we can also do is we can move segments before it used to just be up and down but now it's also left and right and as you can see that's staying pretty much in just one single plane so either left or right or up or down but what we can also do is we can do that using a shift command so if we make a breakpoint and then we press shift depending on what way we move it's going to lock onto either the vertical or the horizontal axis so I'll just demonstrate that now. So I just double click here, we've created a node. If I press shift and go left and right, it's now locked, so I can't go up and down. And if I now do that again, but instead I'm gonna start by going up and down, and now I press shift, it's now locked to the vertical axis instead, and it's not gonna let me go left or right. So it all depends on what axis you start moving towards before you press shift. Another thing to be aware of is if we're going to be deleting any automation, we need to make sure we're deleting it in the automation lane and not in the small area above. And in this case, this is a group. So you can see we've got all of the different group tracks up there. We don't want to be deleting it from there. Or even if it's a normal track, we don't want to be doing it from there. We need to be doing it from either underneath. Or if we pop this into a new lane, then you can see we'd be deleting it from there. But in this case, we'll just do it from this standard area that we just had open and we can delete that automation. No problem. Another thing we can do is just wipe the automation just by dragging straight through it. 
towards the end of the track and we used to have to hold down the shift command to do this but now we don't have to we can literally just wipe straight through all of our breakpoints if we want to so going down to this string that i've got down here which has got some gain automation on if i was going to copy the actual string midi clip i'd use this top area here and if i wanted just the automation i'd use this bottom area here so i can command c command v and paste that over here and now it's got the exact same automation as the midi clip on the left hand side we also have our orange automation lock button here which is now also key and midi mappable the final thing which is going to be excellent news for those of you that really like having all your automation lanes open all the time is that live still pretty much functions exactly as normal even with all the automation lanes open it's just an extra way of being able to use the A key to hide things and neaten them up. So what this means is that as far as editing goes, we can still do everything that we want to do from automation mode. So that might be drawing in our breakpoints, if that's what we want to do, to editing our clips, cutting, pasting, consolidating, slicing, and any other sort of edits such as even reversing as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mess around with some of the automation and let this play through and then I'll see you in the next video where we're going to look at some of the new changes to mixing in Ableton Live 10.